Where are you and where did you come from? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah. I'm Hank Lee from Downey. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> How'd that feel in your breakout game? It felt great. I mean, credit to the whole line, you know, the whole offensive unit just coming out here and executing. Great play call by, by coach um, A-Rod. So, I mean, we just did our jobs and went out there and executed. Just played our way, man. So, yeah. Have you been able to stay ready and then have the biggest game with the BYU career? Um, Kalani is always preaching like staying patient, you know, humble and patient. And, you know, I feel like that's that's been just the biggest thing, you know, just, just obviously being there for my teammates and and just trying my best to obviously be there with them and and just wait for whatever opportunities come. You know, I mean, I was playing special teams all the, uh, the entire year, so I always try to make, you know, plays on, on, on the special team side of the ball. So, yeah, man, it was, it was awesome. So that TD you scored on, does that have a name, that play call? Yeah, so that was that was actually Posse Right Sally. That's one of our screen plays. And I mean as you can see the O line they, they they got out there and they, they did all the work, all the heavy lifting. I just I just ran anybody could have ran that. So yeah man. So A Rod's gonna have to change the name of the play because he doesn't like this actually you guys are not good. No, all goods. All goods. Did you have any did you suspect at all that you were gonna have as big of a role tonight as as you did uh, coming um, into this game? Um, the coaches were always just preaching to me the, um, throughout the whole week, just to stay ready. Obviously, we had backs go down, you know what I mean? I mean, we have, a, we have a room full of just dogs, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it sucked that not every single one of them were, you know, were obviously hurt, you know what I mean? Obviously, Miles dealing with his injury and, and, and CB and, and Mason as well, you know? And so, it just, obviously, I just had to step up and, you know, do whatever it is to help the team win and things like that. But, but yeah, man, so, yeah. What was it different about the offensive line tonight? I mean, they looked a little like hungry, motivated. I don't yeah. know what what exactly the right word is, but did you notice something different about them tonight over the past first of the past month? Um, I feel like the biggest thing is energy. I mean, we had a great week of practice this week, um, literally just full of energy. Coach A Rod in the beginning of the week and the offensive staff they came out there and they were just telling us, hey, you know, the biggest thing we got we got to change is our energy. We got to make it fun. And I think that was the biggest thing day in and day out at practices. We've just been competing, you know, with the defense. And, and I feel like that really carried over to the game. You know, they brought the energy. And you, you can see, I mean, it was, I think it was fourth quarter when they had their little ritual, pre-fourth uh, pre quarter ritual. And we was turning up over there just having fun. I think that really set the tone for the game. Was that complimentary football, offense, defense, special teams kind of feeding off? Most definitely. Other? Yeah, for sure. I mean, we always talk about every time when, you know, offense comes out, defense comes out, special teams, we're always saying, we got y'all back, we got y'all back, you know? And so I felt like everybody just went out there today on all sides of the ball and just executed. Did Miles get hurt in the middle of the game in the second quarter, or did he get banged up at all? Yeah, so, so I don't know if I'm allowed to speak on this, but yeah, I mean, oh uh, yeah, so, okay. Wait. Yeah. yeah. Since you got here to BYU in 2020, you've navigated some injuries. Just maybe lay out the, the road you've traveled to get to this point tonight. Um, I mean, yeah, I, I got here back in 2020, right, and dealt with uh, some injuries, ACL year. Obviously, the next year, still dealing with some things and decided to just redshirt that year, you know, last year. And, and this year was just finally being able to be available for, for our team. And, and I think that was the biggest thing, just, just trying to stay healthy, you know, not doing too much and just, just making sure I, I just, you know, put my – I, the biggest thing that coach always preaches is like availability is the best ability. And so I feel like instead of just doing all these extra stuff, just focus on, you know, trying to stay healthy for the games and things like that. So, yeah. What can you say about the emotion maybe that's in the locker room right now after ending a four game losing streak? Oh, man, it's we're, we're, we're just I mean, you, you heard them right there. <laughs> Everybody's yelling, dancing, music's going. The energy is just crazy. And I mean, this is something that we. And this is a feeling that we all love, you know. And so, obviously, to be able to pull that that W and come come back in the locker room, just celebrate with everybody, and it's just it's fun, man. I love it. I heard from a little birdie that may or may not be your position coach that you've got the biggest deadlift and clean in the running backs room. Can oh, you confirm man, or deny that? That's that's I did not know, man. You just, the, the running backs, those guys all the favorite. Those guys are dogs, man. <laughs> all right, thanks, guys. Oh, Appreciate you guys, man. You guys have a great thank one. You. Thank you guys for coming out.